It's been a year focusing on the basics of Krita. It's time to move on to game creation. Godot is the program you requested the most and it's the one I will cover. Uh, it's an open source game engine with a powerful level and even an animation editor. It used to be developed in-house by an Argentinian game studio named Ocam. So it's designed for professionals by professionals. But if you want to develop games independently, this will also be a very good pick for you. This is not a series for absolute beginners in game creation. You'll need at least a little bit of experience, some programming notions if you want. We are going to get you started with the program, try to understand its built-in scripting language, GDScript, and see how we can work efficiently with the engine. We will talk about how the scenes and the node tree system work and about how to structure your project and keep everything organized. To achieve that, we are also going to create a simple platforming game system to see how it's like to work with Godot and to put what we learn to good use moving forward. This is going to be a short series, it's going to take about two months on the channel and you will still see some game art tutorials here and there. The first Godot tutorial is coming out next Thursday, like usual. And before I end this announcement, I have to ask you a little favor that could mean a lot to me. Please hit that like button on every video you watch on the channel. I don't like begging for it, but since YouTube changed their algorithm a few months ago, it's becoming a necessity. So I'll just explain why I'm asking that. And this is due to the fact that currently on YouTube, um, the way videos gain more visibility is through what we call engagement. And that is like and comment. So if you like and comment a lot on videos, they will get better ranks on uh, the search engine and in the recommended videos. And the GD Quest channel being all about education, not so popular programs and with a fairly formal style, like you don't see my face all the time, the videos are edited and all, it's typically not the kind of content that drives likes naturally. So now you know what to do, I thank you kindly for your time. And that said, I'll tell you to be creative, have fun, and we'll see one another next Thursday for the first GoTo tutorial. Have a nice weekend.